With the passage of time, cricket stadiums across the world have changed. Walker ground here in part, though is an exception, with the artificial structures surrounding most of the ground, the mound still exists. It is kept so to allow the Fremantle doctor flow across the ground. The Fremantle doctor, the Frio doctor or simply the doctor is the Western Australian vernacular term for the cooling afternoon sea breeze which occurs during summer months in southwest coastal areas of Western Australia. The sea breeze occurs because of the major temperature difference between the land and the sea. The name was in use as early as the 1870s and was similar to equivalent terms for winds that occurred in South Africa and the West Indies. During summer months, it consistently blows from the southwest along the southern half of the west coast. Starting between noon and 3 pm, it can penetrate as far inland as 100 km, reaching York in early evening. In Perth, the capital city of Western Australia, the wind is named the Fremantle Doctor because it appears to come from the nearby coastal city of Fremantle and it brings welcome relief from the summertime high temperatures. The Fremantle Doctor often cools the Perth suburbs by several degrees. While nearer the coast, the wind can be quite strong, often blowing between 15 and 20 knots and making afternoon beach visits unpleasant. Extra Time visited the famous roundhouse situated at Fremantle. The journey on the train was a pleasant experience, passing by the ocean and the dockyards. The roundhouse is the oldest public building in Western Australia and stands at the western end of High Street on Arthur Head, a high promontory overlooking Bathurst Beach and the Indian Ocean. The 12 sided building was purpose built as a gaol in 1830. 31, 18 months after settlement of Fremantle and was used until 1886 to house locals who broke the law. After it ceased being used as a goal, it became a police lockup until the late 1890s and then used as accommodation for the water police and afterwards as a storage facility for Fremantle Post. Today, visitors can take a tour of the roundhouse and imagine the hardships faced by convict prisoners and gaolers alike. The tunnel below the roundhouse was built by the Fremantle Whaling Company in 1837 to allow the company easy access between Fremantle Town and Bathurst Beach. A dropping time ball and sound signal were erected at the roundhouse in 1900 and was used each day at 1 pm to signal the correct time to navigators on ships entering Fremantle Harbour. While the procedure was discontinued in 1937, the Fremantle Volunteer Heritage Guides now reenact the ceremony and a member of the public may be invited to the honorary gunnery officer to fire the sound signal. It's true, this, um, why, why this, whenever there's a cricket match being played at the Waka, why is it known as the Fremantle Doctor? And we are right at the Roundhouse. So talk us about this place and history. Yes, the uh, Roundhouse is the uh, oldest public building in Western Australia. It's the first jail, the first prison built in Western Australia. And we are only 150 meters from the Indian Ocean here. So the Fremantle Doctor is our sea breeze. The sea breeze normally comes in around uh, one o'clock. Uh, and it comes straight from the south, so from the South Pole. And it is very cold. Uh, so it is the healing wind, so that's why we call it the free metal doctor. You will see that when the breeze comes in, in an hour the, the temperatures uh, start dropping by 5 degrees and it will become a very pleasant afternoon. It will also get rid of what we call a lot of humidity at the moment in the air. The humidity will also disappear and we will have a very good afternoon if the free metal doctor arrives today. And why is it known as a doctor? It's obviously uh, well, the doctor is for healing. So the doctor is the uh, doctor heals us. So the wind is a healing has a healing effect on the people who get very hot. Uh, so it cools us all down. So that's why it's called the free mental doctor. And also talk us about the prayer and the prisoners here. So we see the bell. Yeah, we uh, we as you can see the bell and you can see the the stocks here to the right. Uh, the uh, the bell is the curfew bell uh, that was uh, rang every night at. Uh, 10 to 10 and everyone in town needed to be at home uh, inside by uh, 10 o'clock otherwise they would be uh, imprisoned by the local police. What sort of punishment? Do you oh just a very small punishment I mean the smallest punishment was the stocks you could uh, get in the stocks for a few days uh, that was public humiliation outside the prison or you could get a few days here in prison uh, all the prisoners here had to work during the day so they they built roads and houses and infrastructure they dug the big tunnel underneath the roundhouse. It's got the whaling tunnel, a 64 meter tunnel between the beach and the town. Uh, when they slaughtered the whales on the beach, they needed to catch supplies to the ships and the uh, meat and the oil off the, off the whales into town. It was too difficult to get it here over the rock face, which is called Arthur Head. So they dug a big tunnel, a 64 meter tunnel, which was the first underground engineering work in Western Australia.